Welcome back to another episode of Daniel's Garage. Uh, as you can see, we got another new car. I've had this thing for a week now. And I was driving it to the uh, DMV to get some new tags on it yesterday. And it decided to throw the uh, P0011 code on my way home. Started running a little rough. <clears throat> this is a 2007 Subaru Outback 2.5 XT and uh, apparently that code shows up when those banjo boat filters get clogged and allegedly I can't confirm because I haven't found any diagrams yet there should be two filters in here the first one is Um, behind the engine cover down there Right next to the dipstick, so there's a whole lot of stuff in the way and The ABCS sensor is right there with the banjo bolt on top There's not supposed to be a filter in there, but I'll check anyway. The second one is underneath the intake tube Right there Third one off the turbo as the inlet runs around and down and I know in the uh, 2005 and 2006's they end on the side of the head straight down however mine keeps going down there and into the side of the block. So I'm gonna start with the easier one first. No filter on that one. Don't see anything sitting down inside of there either. remove parts of the intake system and if that one doesn't have one the worst case all this has to come out to get to the last one that feeds the turbo that one had some tension behind it But again, no filter, see straight through it. Looks clean inside there. So it looks like I'm gonna get to the banjo bolt which is underneath the turbo, underneath the intake pipe, underneath the intake plenum to check for that filter and anything else is going on down there.
lift things up just a little bit back here. Still can't reach that banjo bolt. to extract a stripped bolt. They all came out super easy, except that one right there. So before we do anything extreme, I'm gonna try a pair of channel locks first. These all weren't very tight. And look at that, broke loose already. Beautiful. Easy peasy. I love it when things just work out the way you want. Let's see if it'll spin. Excellent. Yep, I round it off just a little bit. I'll leave that one aside. So a short little update on removing the intake. I got the fuel lines removed using the two-pronged two method. Uh, just removing vacuum lines, power cables, fuel lines, coolant lines. And I discovered that this injector rail wasn't even tightened down. So it was leaking fuel. And I discovered something even more disturbing is the intake tube which I can't really see but I took that off the turbocharger and it is just surrounded by electrical tape holding it together in one piece so whoever had this vehicle before was not very good at, well, fixing things, I should say, or they were just extremely cheap. Anyway, the uh, intake manifold bolts were all finger tight. Yeah, so this code has led me to a lot of things that need to be replaced or maintenance or just tightened in general anyway i'm going to keep uh, plugging away make some more progress got the intake manifold off enough so i could access the uh, banjo bolt down there i haven't even taken it out yet because if you look at the turbo it is Absolutely shot. There is 
a ton of shaft play. The blades are eaten up. And just general terribleness. Since I'm down here, I might as well finish my original project checking for those screens. So I'm going to pull that 17 millimeter nut off. Banjo bolts. Screen and it is completely blocked off. All right, let's see if we can get that screen out. Yep. Completely clogged. That is the reason why the turbo went bad. I'm gonna reinstall banjo bolt. I'm continuing work on the <coughs> Outback XT. I got the uh, intake manifold off just doing some random inspections down here oh, looks like the injectors are gonna need some work that o-ring looks toasted and I'm gonna try and get the turbo off today and continue the uh, replacement I looked up looked up last night looked up some more options. I could go with the uh, V52 and upgrade the injectors, get a tune, get some more horsepower. However, I'm not sure what the condition of this engine is and I don't really want to spend the money to upgrade if I'm just going to blow a motor. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for parts, I'm going to take this turbo off.
I got the turbo out. It's had a very short, uneventful, unfun life. So your impeller is supposed to reach right near the edge of the inlet. And it's not supposed to move. Probably a good quarter inch plus up and down. That is definitely a lot of shaft play. <coughs> Looking through at the oil inlet, it is almost completely dry. I don't think this turbo ever saw a single drop of oil. Just a little bit of coolant splash back in there. And even the inside of the oil drain is dry. See a whole lot of metal shavings in there. Anyway, this turbo is toast. All right, I can't wait to get this thing back together. So that kind of concludes this episode of Daniel's Garage, and uh, gonna continue working on this guy. I don't know. I, I haven't just completely decided on the upgrades yet. I might do the uh, bigger turbo, bigger injectors. Uh, we'll see over the next week how how the budget goes and how quickly I just want to keep driving this car. Anyway, stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching.